is part of the aggressive development of the False Creek area by developers. Corporate media reports that the project will include 50 units of affordable housing. At this stage, Vancouver taxpayers have kicked in over $110 million of bailout money, and prospects of affordable social housing seem to be fading. Today, we're going to talk to some local people about how the Olympics have affected their hopes of real affordable housing. Okay, we're down here today underneath the Granville Street Bridge and we're talking to Jody who was displaced by the closing of one of the uh, homeless shelters down here. Jody, what do you uh, think about what's going on? Um, I think about uh, that uh, it's the wrong thing to do because... Uh, problems since you guys have been displaced? Um, I haven't had any problems, but it's just the point of uh, getting harassed by the police uh, all the time and... Uh, and uh, they're saying the, the government, like BC Housing, saying that they want to give us a hand and help us get find a place. Well, I've been out here for almost two years, and I've been going to the Coast Outreach and other programs to seek help. And uh, it seems like there's uh, we're the bottom of the list, bottom of the list, bottom of the list. Like, what have the police done to harass you? Oh, they just uh, keep uh, bug me about uh, how come you're out on the street and. Uh, how do I, what, just random stuff like what's your name and all this other stuff. What do you think um, can be done to resist the efforts of the police to harass you? Try to get an apartment because they're, they're mostly bugging, uh, bugging us about getting a place to, to stay. Well, BC Housing uh, helped out a bunch of guys already. Well, what about the rest of us? Like, you know? yeah. Has anyone in uh, regular media tried to come down here and find out the real story of what's going on? Um, a few people, but not like uh, that's uh, uh, CBC, uh, City TV news, and they just wanted uh, a two, three minute footage, but they didn't come down and like ask uh, very many questions. Yeah, because you're free to say anything you want here to us. I mean, uh, I've got a few questions, but you can say whatever you want. Like, um, like I've been uh, well known to the system here, and uh, and I want to get a place, but. Uh, where am I supposed to go? There's only uh, youths. Like uh, all the programming for adults are maybe one or two of them. And for the, if you're a young offender, well, hey, you got all over there. You can go. To, you can go to anywhere. Like you know, like we're just short of places. And now, now the place that we are allowed to have, you guys are taking it. Like it's not really fair. What do you think the fair thing to do would be for you guys? Uh, keep it open. And like if we, uh, if they don't like the spot, we're just rel relocate relocated not close it down that's not risk it's not fair like uh, to kick people out on the street while you're building this million dollar thing Olympic thing maybe. yeah about the Olympics are you aware that this uh, city taxpayers are paying 110 million dollars to bail that out for affordable housing supposedly on a billion dollar project what do you think about that I think it's bullshit because uh, you're taking homes away and building up what some uh, to uh, make uh, Vancouver look good. Vancouver's already good. You got all the tourists coming here anyways. Well, you don't need any more publicity. Do you think, uh, how have the Olympics or the building up for the uh, Olympics affected your life? Um, it didn't really affect it. I'd, uh, I, I want to see it. I'm just like, uh, like uh, I'm as excited as everyone else. But uh, like there's a lot of jobs out there and I do do them. But it's just no one, uh, I'm trying to, uh, like, I got no schooling, right? So, so it's pretty hard to find a job. That's great. Thanks for your time.